morning everybody it is monday june 19th what the hell date is it yeah it's june 19th so we are changing out an evaporator in a carrier rtu and also fixing a leak on i think it was either the discharge line or the suction line i diagnosed this um it's been weeks ago now i mean it's probably been six weeks ago i'm gonna link the video up here and uh so you can go back and take a look at the diagnosis of it uh it had a dirty condenser for starters then once i got looking into it it had uh the evap was in horrible shape and it also had a leak on one of the compressors i can't remember if it was the suction or the discharge but it did have a leak um so we're going to change that evap out today we're going to fix that leak and might be one or two other things we got to do to it i can't remember now but i'm about to go pick up the coil from uh, the carrier distributor right now and then we're going to head up there and get that changed out stay tuned something real quick before we get into the video uh, i'm actually filming this after i film the video but um, anybody that knows anything about the google adsense uh, let me know send me an email or uh, comment down below I hit a thousand subscribers uh, last week, and uh, thank you everybody for subscribing. But uh, it seems like Google AdSense has taken a long time to approve my account. Um, so I'm not sure what to do about that, uh, but, but just wait. But it's been almost a week now, so um, I'm afraid something's wrong, but I can't get any straight answers from um, YouTube or Google. So. Anybody that's monetized that watches me or anybody that has any information on that, uh, either email me or let me know down in the comments. All right, let's get on with the video. All right, here she is. Like I said, I'll link down below or somewhere up, up around here somewhere of the original video I made of this. But we're going to pull the coil out of this today and we are going to replace it. The EVAP coil. So let's get going. All right, we're starting the recovery process now. We got two compressors to do. Had I thought ahead, I would have brought two recovery units. That's on me. We're gonna get them pumped down. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. We'll see. All right, here's our coil that's coming out. She's pretty rough. All right, I was dealing with some head pressure issue. It was going above 400. Really didn't have a good means of water out here, so I made a sub cooler. Just had a 3 8 copper. So that's got me down enough where I can keep recovering. I know they make sub coolers you can buy and they're nice and all, but this is basically all it is. Just a coil of copper that you drop into a bucket. Had I had more 3 8 I probably would have made this coil bigger, but this is all the 3 8 I had on the truck. All right, we got it recovered and we got our top off. Now I'm fairly certain it's gonna have to come out the top. So I still got a bunch of screws to take off. But I'm pretty sure that's the right plan of action. All the screws out and then lift it straight up. Let's take a look from the other side. Yeah. The filter rack's gonna have to come off. All right, let's take some screws out. Let's get this thing loosened up. If I remember, well, hopefully it's not fastened to the green van and it will just lift right up off the green van. All right, let's get some screws out. All right, I got the filter rack off. I got it, I think most of the screws out and it is separate from the drain van. that but it will separate from the drain pan. So 
So now I gotta uh, cut my refrigerant piping and this thing will be free. It's actually going smoother than I thought it would. When I first looked at this, I was thinking, how in the hell is this thing coming out of here? But um, it's actually not going that bad. Yeah, not, not bad at all. Uh, full disclosure, I'm about an hour and 50 minutes into this, uh, and that's recovering, disassembling, and uh, up to this point. So uh, I'm just about two hours into it. Am I right on track? I'm not sure. <laughs> I did bid this for all day, so we'll see. All right, actually, before I start cutting piping, I'm gonna go unpackage the new one, and I wanna take a look at it and see what all they give me, what kind of stub outs they give me. I'm thinking they'll probably give me a stub out here and a stub out here on both of them. So basically I'm gonna have these goosenecks on both of them. That's what I'm hoping. If that's the case, I might just unsweat those. But let's go take All a look. Right, yeah, it does have these goosenecks here. So um, I think I will unsweat them up there. That way I have these, uh, I can just, you know, connect right back. So looks like I'm all right. Just gonna inspect the coil too to make sure there's no damage because it is not under pressure for whatever reason. I guess these larger coils, they don't send under pressure. So. All right, all right. After looking at this a couple different ways, I decided it would be easier if that side there came off and I can come out the side with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. This thing's loose. All I gotta do is take it out. Got it unbrazed on the other side. Let me show you that. It's all unbrazed. So we just need to slide this thing out of here. And there she is. Check this out. That's pretty gross. That's a good inch of buildup on the back side of that drain thing. We'll get that cleaned out before we put the new one in. Yikes. That's where our new coil is gonna go. Oh better than what it was. Next step is to get this oil new new coil in here. So I gotta find my helper. He's around the plant doing PM somewhere. Alright. I don't know what time is that. I might go to lunch first. Alright, new coil set. I already got this panel half ass back on. are matched up so I got to braze those in not bad moving right along all right guys got the new coil brazed in I'm about to work on the filter dryers now I got I forgot to pick up filter dryers so I got one by flow and one single flow on the truck and this is a straight air unit so I can use single flows but should have picked up new filter dryers but it is what it is so all right, let's get started on these. All right, I got my new filter dryers breezed in. This was the single flow. This one up here is the bi flow. Now I got to take a look at this leak here. Someone replaced this compressor last year or two years ago. I don't think they got a very good braze on the suction side here. So while I got no refrigerant in it, I'm going to go ahead and rebraze that. All right, guys, I just pressure tested this one here. I just blew it that off. And I got three, about 325 sitting on this one here. Fix this braze up here. Look at 
looking good now. So we'll hold, we'll do this one. Uh, we'll put this one on a pressure test for a little while. We're gonna hook the vacuum pump up to this one now. All right, while vacuums are being pulled and all, I'm gonna work on getting some of these panels back on. I just got a few screws in each of them that I have on here right now. I still gotta put the filter rack back on and uh, finish putting this on, put the top back on. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. We got our top back on. Still pulling a vacuum on the one. Figured I'd just give you a little bit of update. Yep, I think I'm almost done with this other vacuum. But for the most part, all the panels are back on except the ones that are easily removable. I like these panels right here are easily removable. And uh, I can probably start putting some of this stuff away because I'm gonna need to go grab the refrigerant off of my truck here in a minute. But yeah, not going too bad. Not going too bad at all. I might be a little later than I wanted to be today but um, everything's moving along pretty smoothly so haven't hit any hiccups yet anyway all right guys we're filling her up with refrigerant now uh, I already got the one circuit uh, with about six pounds in it and this circuit I'm um, just turn the refrigerant on to it now it's got about three going on four pounds then we'll power this thing up and uh, and top off the charge then I got a bunch of cleaning up to do. All right, this is circuit two I'm hooked up to right now. It's kind of all over the place. The uh, subcooling's pretty high and then the superheat's low. But just a couple minutes ago, the superheat was about normal. So it's kind of all over the place, but I do have a really hot box right now. because my supply temperature is only 64, but my return was like 88, something like that, 87. I'm gonna hook up to my other circuit now and, and see what that's doing. Yeah, see the superheat's coming back up now. And it's only really been running for about 15 minutes, so kind of up and down we'll let it we'll let it stable itself out all right guys I wasn't able to film a whole lot of the end of it I got rolling there I got pressed for time it's already after four o'clock I got to get up out of here but we're back up and running now all right guys finished up with that I think it went pretty well I couldn't get a whole lot of the end of it because I was just trying to get done and get out of there uh, but I think it went pretty well I'm gonna have a guy check on it tomorrow after it runs all night and cools that space down. It does a, a engine room. A, a, it has a bunch of pumps and stuff in it. And it was about 90 degrees in that room when I first turned it back on. So um, I want to let I want to let it run through the night and see what happens. Uh, Sub cooling was a little bit high, so I was a little concerned about that. So he's going to check out that out for me. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and let me know what you guys uh, have to say about the AdSense um, accounts. It seems like it's taken me a long time to get mine approved and that might be normal, but I feel like a, a week is a little excessive. So um, let me know if anybody has any experience with dealing with that with AdSense uh, down in the comments. I'd like to know. So, all right guys, thanks for watching.